everyone my name is Kimberly and today I'm actually gonna be making a video about hair um everything that you hear today is probably something that you've heard before however I still wanted to share um, how I uh, take care of my hair with braids and so this is protective style as we all know and it's a wonderful protective style for me at least my hair grows excessively now, I've only had this hair in for a month got it done at the end of um February and it's the end of March so my hair grew a lot okay you can see and it's definitely time to kind of revamp it I usually as soon as I get it done curl the ends and then um uh yeah that's what I do um so I wanted to share with you guys how I keep my hair looking um fresh and how I take care of it and then I'm gonna make a part two and show you guys um what I do to keep it looking cute preppy and, and elegant because I just feel like for me I have a certain look with every look that I have and even with even with braids I like to look very um nice and you know preppy and things of that sort that's just kind of my look so and that being said, let's get started into what I put in my hair. Now, this isn't no countdown. I don't do the countdown stuff. I just wanted to share with you guys um, what I do, you know, one by one um, with the few things that I have in order to take care of my hair. And the first thing is castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil. Um, this is the organic extra dark. Okay, so you know what it looks like. You can get this at your local Walmart. I believe Target, but definitely your hair store. Your hair store will be your best bet if you want to get a bang for your buck. So if you want to save a little bit more, go to the hair store, at least here in Ohio. That's what I've experienced. Now, the extra dark Jamaican castor oil definitely has a strong smell. And every time I put it in my hair just like that, people are like, what's that smell? What's that smell? What What, what is that? I'm like, it's the castor oil in my hair. They're like, this is a strong smell. Oh my goodness, it's so strong. Now, now, because I get that every single time I walk into a room, I put either peppermint, essential oil, or lavender. You can't see it, sorry. Sorry, okay, there we go. And I got these from Marshalls. So, if you want some essential oils for your diffuser, or for sprays, or whatever, you know, Marshalls is your best bet. Now they do sell some at Walmart and a bunch of other places, but the cheapest I've seen it is Marshalls. And I always recommend that to people. Now, um, yep, castor oil. Now I don't put too much in my hair. So that's why this is gonna be short and sweet. Um, now I, I don't recommend putting leave-in conditioner or any thick creams on your scalp. However, I use this to put in my hair. So I'll take that back. Saying, rub it in and just go in the hair why i do this you ask is because you have your hair inside the braids and they need to stay moisturized they need the more you know they need to take be taken care of so you need to put something in here now you can do it with the castor oil as well take a little bit dab mix it with the leave-in conditioner and put it in there um or you can spray something in there whatever you feel is moisturizes your hair the best i would rub it in here as well don't neglect this part of your hair okay this is the old part of your hair and it needs you it needs you to take care of it so don't just not you know take care of it so that's what i recommend you don't have to use this leave-in conditioner okay now i'm not specific on what i use i try different things all the time so you don't have to go out and go get this okay if you want to cool but if you don't I'm not gonna be mad if you have your opinion on it save it just kidding <laughs> you don't have to save it if you if you had a bad experience with that leave-in conditioner please let me know so i can discard it asap um another thing uh that i also do to take care of my hair to keep it growing to keep it fresh whatever i mix castor oil with um leave-in conditioner as well now i've been using the regular I think it's just a pro vitamin for this and it moisturizes my hair very nice so I thought I would try the leave-in conditioner lo and behold it's a liquid how did I not know that when I bought it <laughs> so because I bought it and I can't return it um, I just mix it with castor oil and I spray it on my scalp now that we've talked about what I do for my hair it's very minimal very easy you don't want to put leave-in conditioner in the scalp you don't want to shampoo and condition it um, too much in the in your scalp because it'll just 
start to build up here and when you take out your braids it will be a terrible mess trying to get that knot out so please refrain from putting much like stuff inside there now another thing that i use which i don't use often but when my hair gets very itchy i'll use this it's something i've used years for years now it says to prevent dry itch and skull um dandruff treatment it is medicated so i don't know if it's good for your hair at all but it's been around for years so i use it whatever now um that's pretty much it for um hair care now as far as keeping my edges nice and fresh what i usually use is either the edge booster don't know who it's from but either the edge booster or i will use the ebon um new york i think that's what it's called it's a purple bottle i think they have a couple other colors um but a black a purple whatever um so i would use somewhere in between this it was actually my first time trying this it's pretty good but i like ebon better because when i work out and i have ebon in my edge edges i the edges are still late this one no but it's, it's still good you know th to keep out throughout the day you know what i'm saying so now that we're finished with that um that's pretty much it for my hair care regimen part one so there is going to be a part two on how i maintain my hair keeping that beautiful preppy look the curls on the bottom so please watch my next video also um please like comment and subscribe because there's more videos to come and i would really love you to be there on that journey with me